One of my viewers asked me to check uh, Criolo OS and this was a distribution based on Antix. It is an Antix respin but uses the XFCE. So we'll have a look a quick look at it and we'll do a similar one but with KDE so that you will know also how you can create something not uh, better than this one but at least it will give you a feel of how you can improve and create a better ISO so first of all when we look at it they have this cat I don't like this cat I like deja vu from the matrix the, the black one it is better but it's fine the second thing when you install it the language was Spanish so you might be intimidated when you install it but what you can do is you go to system on the live on the live CD when it is live and change the user language here you can say change the language and the format the time zone and the keyword also if you want but these two are very important and it will translate the menus and translate the local and localize the programs so we'll have a similar menu like this second thing uh, was uh, removed is all the file managers that came with Antix were removed. What remains is Tunar. So we have only Tunar, the ZZ, ZZFM, the ROX uh, is removed, but the ROX term, it remains. He, he kept the ROX term. It is very minimal. And if you notice, if you look at the terminal, let us look at the terminal. If we look at the terminal, we press stop it has around 300 megabytes of RAM which is also a minimal uh, distribution for 300 megabytes as an XFCE so it is fine and I didn't have any problems with with it uh, but you see sometimes in the menu it, it some it has some lag in order to go up these but it's it's no problem when you start removing the window managers because uh, this uh, XFCE they removed many window managers all of them and they are linked to the file managers maybe we will have some crashes some here and there so but as the first look I didn't see any crash at all I, I opened most of the programs and there was no problem whatsoever so it is good so how can how can someone do a system like this one so it's very easy you go to control center you go to software package installer you go to desktop environment and what Criolo OS did is you install this XFCE for light you install it you remove most of the programs you clean everything and then you use the ISO snapshot to create the ISO file and you can distribute this file so in this video what we will do is we will install KDE 5 Lite we will keep the window managers there is no problem in, uh, in removing them and we'll create the ISO to give you a feel how you can create an Antix KDE Lite with this uh, system so let us go uh, go out of Criolo and we come back with the vanilla antics we are now in vanilla conky it's already installed we have ram 160 megabyte of ram and it used around 2.82 gigabyte of space so first of all we have to do is we go to the control center software package installer we put the password We go to desktop environment. We come back here to KDE5 Lite. And we click install. As simple as that. It will tell us you need around 600 megs of additional disk space. Do you want to continue? I say yes. 
and we'll keep it running and we'll come back when it's finished so the process has finished we exit exit close here we log out and we log in to KDE so we put antics put our password and F1, F1, F1 Plasma This is KDE Lite Vanilla If You can see now that the menu is up there It is missing many core components That's why it is light So we would expect some bugs here and there but there is no problem, you can uh, do whatever you want. If you don't want to use the, term, the menu here, you press Alt space and you search from here. Let's say I want to search for the terminal, yes, the terminal. I will, I will go to console. And in console, let me check the RAM. So it is using 506 gigabyte of RAM which is big relatively let us uh, get out we want to check uh, let us check uh, the themes if I want to put a dark theme could not find the program system settings okay so we have to install system settings let's do it console sudo apt install system settings it's a small file there's no problem and I think we need to install something new stuff I don't we'll see it we'll see it here Okay, done. Let us keep it like this. We go to themes. And okay, it opened. And what it's telling is org.kde.new stuff is not installed. So control Q to get out. And let's search for it. So do apt search and new stuff and this is it copy it sudo apt install pd stuff and this is a small file I just want to do two or three things just to keep KDE a little bit uh, the colors and everything to be as I like it as I like dark mode so global theme we press enter so now we have the breeze dark okay we put apply okay so we have this one and you can change whatever you want you can change the colors, the style if you want. Oxygen, breeze, dark, it is by default. Whichever suits you, you can change. Let's see, Windows decoration. You can have the plastic and the breeze. So you customize it the way you want. Control Q, get out. So what we'll do now, the final thing is we'll have to do the snapshot. Let's search for snap. We got it directly. And now it tells us, so the snapshot location is slash home slash snapshot. Okay, the name of the ISO. It's good they give you the date. So you know if you are doing every one month or two months, you know the date the snapshot was done. You say next here 
since it is a new KDE and we don't have any problem no need to check these because there's no no files here so there's no problem here and if you want to uh, add some exclusion fi uh, lists here you can do it from this file the important things are the two, the two here the preserving accounts is the one that you saw with Criolo Criolo who created it with the same username that's why when when you log in for the Criolo OS you have to put the username and the password if you install Antix the first time they give you the choice to install the to name your name your username on this one it will not rename your username the same username you are using it will be installed as the same if your username is antix it will be antix and if you distribute to others they are forced to use the same antix if you use the other one here you can put whatever username but what you will lose is all the dot files or the configuration for the files that you are doing will be lost so you have to make the decision either to distribute like this or like this if you want to distribute like this you can put the settings inside let's say the user share for the wallpapers and others and uh, in the etc folders so that when you get it reset the accounts the home folder will be removed or uh, uh, clean except the configuration that you used so let us keep it like this preserving accounts press next so they tell me okay to start I will start I press okay so it has finished it took 11 minutes 24 seconds we'll press okay close and we come back here and we have this is our snapshot it is 1.5 gigabytes you can take it name it let's say you can name it deja vu os or whatever you like this is the first step you can choose whichever distribution you want and you can customize it the way you want also